Hi, welcome to Painting with Victoria. I'm Victoria Goebel, and in today's lesson, we will be painting a sunflower. So before we get started, there's some drawing we're gonna have to do. And in your kit, you have three templates. You have a circle and two size petals. So what we're gonna do first is take out our circle and our pencil, and usually when I do the sunflower painting, I like having it off to the side. Somehow putting it in the middle, just it's not a good composition. So let's go ahead and pick a spot, oh, let's just say right about here. And you're gonna go ahead and trace all the way around. Make sure you press a little hard just so you really see that circle coming through. There. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna take the small petal. And what you're going to do is just um, lay it down. See how the circle comes behind the petal? That's good, we want that to happen. Don't put your petal like this. Make sure that it comes into the circle right about here, okay? So now what you're gonna do is just trace. And what I want you to do on this is randomly put these small ones because a real sunflower has different size petals and we don't want them all to look exactly the same because it just doesn't look as natural. So what I like to do is just randomly put these small ones so they're not spaced the same going all the way around. See, I'm gonna leave that gap right in there and then maybe come over here and place one. And so on and so on. Go ahead and just use your own artistic freedom to decide where you're gonna put your petals. I'm gonna go ahead and put these two close together. Go ahead and put one more. I'm going to put it right here. There. So now you're going to take your larger petal, and I always say just start somewhere, start anywhere. So the same thing, you're going to want to make sure that it goes behind the circle. Now, some of your petals are going to go off of the canvas. That's okay, that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and just start tracing. And these are gonna be very tight. They're gonna be close to each other. And this one is going behind these right here. So I'll go ahead and all you're gonna see is this much of the petal. So this one will go right next to that one. Sunflowers usually have a lot of petals, so we really wanna make sure that we keep this nice and full. So as you can see, it's really starting to fill out. So go ahead and continue to do what I'm doing here. Trace your petals and then we're going to lock in the background. Okay, so I really like where this is going. There's not a whole lot of area for background, but it's going to be this area in here and this area and then a few of these little spots down here. So let's get started making our background color. And um, I think what I'd like to start off with is the really pretty lime green color that goes back here. So take out your flat brush and let's go ahead and mix some yellow scoop that in over here you don't need a whole lot and a tiny bit of phthalo blue look how quickly that turns into a lime green mixing colors is so fun okay so all we're going to do now is we're going to very carefully and I do want you to stay in the lines. sometimes I tell you it's okay if you don't but in this case you want to stay in the lines as much as you can and that's where this chisel brush works great for that because you can kind of come in 
at a point, just like that, and then fill with the wide part. Okay, so let's out let's do the outlining first, and then we're going to, we're going to branch out with all of the the leaves. Okay, so let's keep going to the larger part of our background. And we're just gonna block it in real sloppy. Just slap that paint in there, fill it up. Get rid of all the white part of the canvas. Don't wanna see any white canvas, okay? And what we're going to be doing is working wet on wet, which means our colors will blend nicer because the paint is wet. Um, if, if my background was dry, then I would just be laying out another color on top of it. So I wanna make sure that my canvas stays wet while we do this part. So what I'm gonna do now, kind of go back over some of the areas that I already did. I'm gonna take the phthalo blue and mix it in so I've got a much richer green color. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm gonna start doing some little leaf strokes, just like this, swish, 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 swish. Kind of just let them overlap each other. And this just sort of represents the foliage of leaves behind our flower. Okay, now that I'm done with this dark color, I am going to rinse my brush out. And I think what I'm gonna do is take it and just put it right in the yellow. And now I'm just gonna do some quick strokes of yellow right over this. And all this does is give it a little bit more dimension. Also represents all the leaves in the front and that are catching sunlight. For this next part that we're going to do, I really want this green to be dry because I don't want it to mix in with my sunflower color. So this is a good time to, you know, maybe change your water, go get a, um, a nice drink of coffee or something, and we'll come back to our sunflower and we're going to block in the middle and all of the petals. Welcome back. I hope your canvas is nice and dry, mine is. So now it's time to block in the petals and the middle of our sunflower. So let's start with our petals. Um, you can clearly see my pencil marks. So I want to paint the petals in the direction that they're going in. So um, with that said, it will be going like this, like this, like this, until we finish painting it. So I'm gonna do a few of them, and then we're gonna just go into time lapse, and you don't need to see me paint all of these. And we'll start with the mustard color, which is yellow ochre. And I am using the number eight round brush. This works great because it has a point at the end, and it's great for getting the point of my petals. So I'm just pick a spot and start. If it's um, let's, I'll tell you what, let's start with the ones that are in the back, which are the big ones. So we're gonna just go in a downward motion to stay with the direction. And you can get out of the lines right here. Go ahead and come into the circle. And see how I use the point of my brush to get that nice pointy edge on my petals. Come in. And you can usually see the lead come through. So even if I hit the other petal, I can still see the lead. I'll still be able to fill that in. So continue to do this for all your petals. When we get to the small ones, all you're gonna do is come back over and paint it in the direction 
of the curve. And like I said, don't you can get out of the lines, that's totally fine. Just make sure you don't see any of the canvas. We don't wanna see any white coming through. Blocking in means we're blocking in paint over the canvas before we layer all of our details. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting my petals and you have fun doing the same. Okay, so I am just finishing up my last petal and I did all the large ones first and then I did the small ones up in front and because I painted in the direction of my sketch, you can almost see the details already in the sunflower. Also, sunflower petals have those grooves in each petal. So what I was trying to do was paint these striped strokes going like this to show show how the petal really looks okay so now that we've got all these done while it's drying I'm going to work on the center part of my sunflower so I want you to take your flat brush and we're going to dip it into the burnt umber just the way it is okay and all we're going to do is block in that circle now Sometimes circles are very hard to paint, but this one doesn't have to be perfect because it's a sunflower. So don't worry if it's not a perfect circle. It, it's almost better if it's not. So I'm gonna fill that in with the brown. Make sure it's a little bit off. And as I get towards the center, just like in a sunflower, the center of a sunflower is a lot darker because it's actually going in. So to create that deeper tone, I'm gonna take a little of my phthalo blue and mix it into my brown. And what that's going to do is create a darker color. Look at that, it's almost black, but it's actually just a nice uh, espresso color. So I'm gonna blend that in. There we go. And this is going to have to dry before we get to any of the details. So rinse out your brush. And you know what? There's no reason why we can't get right into the petals um, unless you wanna press pause and take a break. But I'm just gonna go right into the details of our petals. So let's go ahead and take some of the yellow ochre and mix it with yellow. And we're gonna get a very bright sunflower color. Basically, that's what it is. And so, pick a petal and start, let's, let's start with this one in the front. And so what you wanna do is brush in those strokes that I told you that creates those little ridges in each petal. And you're gonna to have to do each one like that. So the ones that are behind, like this one right here, you just kind of have to just do the best you can. You know, it's just, it only takes a few strokes. But the ones in the front, you want to make sure, I always say start with the line down the middle and then come across and across and then till you actually outline the petal. And that's all there's to it. So we're going to do each petal like that. Take your time. This is a very, very important part of creating the motion of our sunflower. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep going and take you to the next step as soon as we get done with this.
Okay, so I'm pretty much at my last petal here. Woohoo! So let's see if I missed anything. Nope. So now that we're done with uh, this phase, we are going to go into creating a lighter um, shade on our sunflower, basically where the sun is hitting it. And the way we do that is we add white to the color that we were using. So I'm gonna add some white to this yellow. So pretty. And so I don't wanna do the same exact length of each petal like I did um, with the first color. So um, I'll just start right here. And what we're gonna do is shorter strokes. Just like that. So you're gonna leave this dark and this dark in here. And then just continue until you finish every single petal, just like we did before. And this basically, um, having these uh, highlights right here helps lift the petal up. It makes the petal look a little curved. So it's very important that you don't take it all the way to the end. much finished with that. Um, I might want to come over and hit it in a few places. Oh, I forgot this one here. And this. This looks good. I'm really happy with this so far. So what we will do is let this dry. And while we're letting this dry, we're going to work on the center part of our sunflower. And so um, we're going to work on these little tiny um, dots going all the way around. Now this is extremely time consuming and I don't want you to feel rushed doing it. So if you feel a little tired after doing your petals, just take a break and come back um, because it's going to be a lot of little dots going all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going and show you. Uh, let's start with a kind of a soft mustardy brown color. So we're going to take burnt umber and mix it with our yellow ochre to create a darker mustard color. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way around the edge. And I'm trying to get rid of, what I'm trying to get rid of is this smooth edge going all the way around. So I'm purposely going to get out of the lines and go all the way around. And I just take my small little paintbrush, it's the number two round, and just kind of dab, dab, dab. In a lot of my paintings, I have um, a lot of little dots that I like to use, and the best way to do it is to just use a small brush and just take a little dab like that and hit it, just like this. So we're gonna go all the way around, and then I'll take you to the next color. it in that we want it to be lighter but still not straight yellow ochre it's very important that we see the colors kind of graduate and not be so uh, stark from one color to the other so that's why I'm just going to mix a little bit of yellow ochre in the color that we just used and now what we're gonna do and try to think of this like a donut we're going to put dots in the shape of a donut going all the way around this middle so all I'm gonna do is just start dotting it and make sure they're kind of close together. Don't, um, don't leave a lot of brown space in between. So I'm gonna go all the way around. If it's easier for you when you get to a certain place to turn your canvas and do it this way, then do that because sometimes it just makes it our job easier. So 
I'm gonna keep dotting and dotting and go, like I said, in the shape of a donut all the way around, but don't come into the center. So as I come around the corner here and close up my donut ring, let me put it back the way it was. I'm going to put a few coming, kind of coming in here. Now I'm going to switch colors to a darker color in here. And the way we do that is we just go back to our brown and add it to our color make a nice mocha color, mix the, brand, the, the burnt umber with the yellow ochre, and let's go ahead and just start with the center. And all you're gonna do is the same thing, but you're just gonna fill it up. Let's fill up the hole here and blend it right into the other color. Now, here's a fun fact. With acrylic paint, your paint always dries darker than how you uh, lay it down on the canvas. So if you see a color that you're not crazy about when you first put it down, it's probably going to dry a different shade. So be patient, let it dry, and if you still don't like it, then you can change it. But um, acrylic paint always dries darker. And I'm almost closing this up. This just really gives it a lot of dimension and gives it the detail that we're looking for. Very nice. Okay, so one last detail that I'd like to do that just kind of makes it look even more dimensional is I'm gonna take some yellow and mix it with the yellow ochre color to make a nice, happy, I don't know, this is truly a mustard color right here. And so what I'm going to do is just kind of put a few little dots in the middle here. And that's just the sun hitting in a few places. Okay, we're going to do a few more details on our petals. And then we are going to sign our painting and call it done. So. I like what I see so far here. I see where I, I definitely need some more highlights because my paint dried darker than when I first put it on. So what I'm gonna do is take some white and mix it with the yellow. Get a very nice lemon color, very light lemon color. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just in right here in the middle in a few places is hit it again. And what that's doing is making my petal look curved. So just continue to do that on the rest of the petals. And then all we have to do is put in a few shadows and then we're done. So I'm gonna keep going and I can already see it lifting and curling. That's exactly what I want. Now the only thing left to do that I see is right in here, it could use a little bit more depth and the only way we can do that is to give it a nice shadow. So this will be the last step in our painting. I'm going to take some burnt umber and mix it with the mustard, yellow ochre color. Let's just see how dark this comes out first. Yeah, I like that. So what we're gonna do is 
The space between two petals is where it would be darker. And so I'm gonna pick that space in here and then brush it so that, see what happens? Those two petals all of a sudden leap forward. So we're gonna do that with around the edges where the petals are going inside. And I just use my finger to kind of blend it in. It makes just such a difference. Here's two petals next to each other. So I'm gonna go ahead, with that. And here's a couple more. Now everybody's painting is different because it, you got to put your petals wherever you wanted. So um, just make sure that you kind of just stare at your painting for a while, figure out which ones are hidden behind. Like this petal right here is hidden behind that one. So I wanna make sure that I hit it back here. And it just magically sets it back. This is the final part of our painting, so um, you might want to just um, maybe look at it tomorrow and see if it needs any more details. It's your painting and you can just do whatever you want as far as adding. You can't really take things off, but you can definitely add. So I'm just going to hit it in a few places down here. And maybe I'll look at it tomorrow and see if it needs anything more, but I really like where it's at right now. I just think it's, it's just about there. If you want to, sometimes I do this, but you don't have to because I really think that the petals are nice the way they're layered. But see how this one's in front? You can kind of put a little bit of brown here just to kind of make that lift up. And like I said, you can just keep finding little areas that need a shadow and add it. Just a, just a little stroke is all it takes sometimes to make that petal lift out, but I think that's good. I'm gonna stop. I really like this. Voila. So sign your painting and get a beautiful frame for it. Um, everyone could have a sunflower painting in their house. Um, it just fits anywhere in anybody's home. So I'm going to go ahead and sign my name right here and call it done. I am so glad that you joined me today and I hope that we can paint again. You can find all of my painting lessons on YouTube and you can get the kit on my online store. There are 13 kits to choose from right now, but there will always be more coming. So I'm going to take the phthalo blue. Sign my name. There we go. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.